what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. I don't get too deep into uh, conspiracy theories, and, and you know, I, I've, I've heard a lot of them. Um, but I also know that this government is tricky. And, you know, uh, we don't control the government. They do. And by they, I mean the mayonnaise people. And we know they're tricky. So I wouldn't put anything past anything. Um, but, I, you know, I just, I, I just would love for shit to get back to normal. Uh, just because this, this is, you know, this is a terrible situation to be in. Money-wise, it's fucked up. You know, I love my lady. But I don't want to be around this bitch this long. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm laughing about something else, man. It ain't got nothing to do with what you just said. But, mm -hmm. listen, but listen here, but listen here. I, I want to know this. Like, so this, 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 uh, when you think about Trump and his leadership regarding the coronavirus, on a scale to, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the highest, what's his grade? Well, first of all, you use the wrong word. There ain't no leadership anywhere. Right. Uh, this is a dictate. This is a dictatorship. Um, you know, and, and this man is so narcissistic, uh, and he's displayed all the functions of somebody that's a dictator. Um, I can't stand the motherfucker. I really can't. Right. Uh, and despite exactly. what some black people's feelings are about Obama, I'm going to stand behind Obama because I personally think he did a great job. Uh, and if for nothing else, these right wing white men stand by their own. So why can't we stand behind our own, despite whatever Obama's imperfections were? Donald Trump uh, committed treason. He betrayed the country. He colluded with Russia. And them right wing white men made sure that he didn't get acquitted the way historically they have always made sure their own were not held accountable. So if white folks look after their own, I'm sorry, I got to look after my own. But when when the president of the United States have to conform to the America's agenda, no matter who he is, like like for instance, it's my theory that the president of the United States is is just a figurehead, and and it's all about who you can stand to look at and hear for the next four to eight years. Like I just and personally, I don't believe that any of them. Uh, has the power to do anything that the elite don't tell them to do or don't co-sign. Because if they do, I think they're going to have a problem breathing. You know, I don't doubt what you're saying either. Um, but to say that he has absolutely no influence and no say, I don't know that I buy that. Like, I, can, I hear people say that, I has, and I agree. I think he has influence. I, I think he has influence and he has say. But I think it's okay. You know, it's kind of like having a child in your house. Like your child has uh, certain privileges that you give them, and then and then there are things that they're going to have to ask you for. They're going to have to ask you about. So you let your child. You know, your child comes in the house. The child don't have to ask you. Can I grab something out of the refrigerator, Dad? You know, can I go to bed? Can I can I step outside? They don't have to ask you all of that type of stuff. But there's certain things, well, you know, uh, can I, uh, uh, can you give me some money so I can go on this field trip? Can I uh, spend the night at such and such house? So I, I kind of look at, I kind of liken it to that, like these, 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 these presidents, yeah, they got some wiggle room to do certain things that they want to do or whatever, and that they can put an idea on. But other than that, uh, when it comes to certain things, like say, for instance, Gaddafi getting killed. Gaddafi was going to get killed no matter who the president was, right? They were going to kill Gaddafi no matter who the president was. That was the agenda. So it could have been, it, 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 whether it was Barack, it's, it's, it's really sad that, a, that they, they used a black man to take out Gaddafi. They did it on Obama's watch. But what do you think would have happened if Obama hadn't taken out of Gaddafi? If, he, if, well, if, if the elite said, yeah, we want Gaddafi out of here. We want him out. The black community. If well, 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 first of all, I, 
first of all, I think it's ironic in your last statement that you used the word child as an example, because that's exactly what we have in the White House is a right. child. Um, listen, man, I, I'm not heavy. And like one of my favorite shows on TV is uh, Real Time with Bill Maher. And as a comedian, one of the reasons why I like watching that show, and in particularly Bill Maher, is because, like, let's put it in basketball terms. Michael Jordan was a complete player. He could do everything. He had no weaknesses. Politics is something I don't do well, comedically. Bill Maher is one of the masters at political comedy. Yeah. So because I know I don't do that well, I watch it in envy because I'm trying to learn how to be better. I'm trying to pick up on certain things in terms of how to do political comedy, because that's a very hard thing to do. So I say that to say this, D.L. Hewley, who I have the utmost respect for. That's the first man, the first man came to my mind. Came to one, my of, mind. One, of the, one of the smartest, funniest niggas in the game. Yeah. He's constantly on that show. And every time I talk to D.L., I commend him and go, man, that political shit, nigga, you savvy, you know it. So I'm not really political heavy, political conscious. So I can't deeply give you an answer as to what's right or wrong about Gaddafi, because quite frankly, I don't know much about it. What the haters talking about?